Introducing the man, the myth, the legend, Barry the Bandit. Light on vigor, big on heart, Barry is a master of stealth, lethal with a bow, a knife, sharp sticks, and even harsh language. For this series, we're going to focus on arcane and dexterity as our primary damage dealing stats, with a heavier focus on arcane as we head into the late game. Throughout the playthrough, we shall be covering a wide variety of weapons with an emphasis on the aforementioned damage dealing stats, as well as taking advantage of the dragon community incantations to add support damage. My name is Nubbachi. This is Barry. Welcome to how to build a bandit hello everybody welcome back to elden ring shadow of the erd tree so what we're doing today well today is the bellaret jail walkthrough now the bellaret jail is um and the entrance is just here it takes you underneath this castle here which is basically um one of the the uh, dlc's main legacy dungeons i'm um, not re quite ready for that just yet but we can deal with this bit i've also placed a map marker there the reason for that is i'll explain um when we get there but there are a couple of things you want to do first first of all i'm going to swap out these two, we're going to put in our two new weapons. Just want to upgrade these. Um, let's show them off a bit. We're not going to be able to use them too much where we're going um, because you know, I'll explain why that is in a minute. So, what we're going to do first, you go on your map, nope, and press your right shoulder button, like so. That takes you to the overworld map, all the lands between. Now, we can jump straight down to Table of Grace or the round table. We're going to have a swig of tea because. It's not hot enough in my room already. Okay. And then we're going to go... Speak. Oh, the reason we're doing this, by the way, is we have a shit ton of runes. We could level up. But I thought I'd invest in some of them, and we'll level up after. Um, we don't yet have our final bell bearing, so we won't be able to get all the way up to um, plus 24, because we haven't done the crumbling... We haven't burned the Erdry, basically. Neither have we been to the crumbling Paramazula. I'm probably going to do that in a crossover uh, video between... Barry the Bandit, uh, sorry, hit the How to Build a Bandit series and this one um, because uh, there's a few loose ends I want to tie up in that series and there's a few things we're going to need to help push through the walkthrough as well, this walkthrough. Now, speak to that yourself. So we're going to want 24 of each. We can go all the way up to uh, Smithing Stone 6, which means we're going to have to plus 18, which is more than enough. Too far. Boom. 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 No. Cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna load these up. So that costs a pretty penny. It costs us hundred thousand runes. Fuck me, that's expensive. Although at this point of the game runes are not particularly difficult to come by. I mean can we it's just sorry, it's random. We've got enough materials to make another 17 of those gold propel, but if we run out, I will show you where to farm um, more materials for those. But um, we've got enough for the time being. I said, you well, just pop one of them and clear a dungeon and you, where have you know. You been you, uh, I took you for dead. Well, I'm not. No matter, it's all the same. Maybe to you. Lay out your arms then. Please. That's what you're looking for there. Let's strengthen these. So we're not going to uh, upgrade the great knife. The only reason it's there is, as always, to apply the Golden Vow at your wall when we are in boss fights. Uh, we don't have the faith. In fact, we don't even have the incantation at the moment. Sort of, the faith is relevant. So we have to use the Asher War. Um, now, we can upgrade these to 18. Do it slow because we've got a few other... I've, well, I've got a few 7 and 8s, and I don't want to um, overshoot it. So we go quick, and then we'll slow down. There we go, no further. Same again. Okay. Right, then about ready. Next, we're going to jump back to here. And there's something else we want to do. We're going to pick up, we're going to find our first merchant of the DLC. We're going to pick up another Skidoo tree. Um, Check his weapon as well, actually. Ah, oh, I'll just do it too quickly. So, you notice there's two of these here, right? And if you two hand it, you actually get two, which is. And has a real nice. Yeah, these are quick. Scaling nut bar, we forgot to apply the scaling. I want to talk about that quickly as well. Um, the backhand blade, particularly, is a solid weapon for pretty much any build. Um, let's go Ash of War. It comes with 
blind spell which we just showcased um sad is one thing but it actually even a plus 18 has got a scaling in strength a scaling in dexterity for keen which means quality is bnb so it's pretty solid for both although we would personally get more bang for our buck from keen but that's because our dex is higher magic is b int yeah it's pretty solid uh, also, yeah, we're going to go to Occult, though, because that's our bit. Our highest is Arcane. Um, I'll just give a bit more extra damage. Just a nice, easy plus 244. And then we do the same thing on the Beast Claw. Um, this scaling's not quite as good, but it does have Bloss. Blood, Bloss? Yeah, we, Bloss. Got Bloss. No, it's got Blood, plus, blood Loss build up as standard. Um, again. Strength of deck is pretty solid. I'm going to say, you, yeah, you probably get better bang for your buck if you were quality build, maybe if you if you're going that route. Um, what's interesting is because the blood loss build up is native, you can also apply poison if you want. Although that would be pointless to that build. You can increase the blood loss build up to seen. You can also use frostbite and bleed. You can also use Frostbite and Bleed. We've got no intelligence, so that wouldn't help a great deal. But think about it. Uh, yeah. That would be pretty mean. Um, but again, we're going to go for the uh, Cult Scaling for the time being. Now. We're going to run up this way. We'll show these and a few dudes to take care of. Pick up the these pieces. pieces. Oh. That was a mushroom. Never mind. Show one of these guys. So quick. It's perfect for backstabs. Unfortunately, you'll notice it's got quite a wind up on the dual attacks, which, when we get to where we're going, is potentially quite dangerous for us. So we're not going to rely on these too heavily, too heavily in the next in this video. But we will be using them more extensively as the build progresses because I want to get through. I want to explore a lot of this um, DLC. Right, where am I going? Let's. Use these. These are devastating. This is why when we the guy we found using these was so lethal. They just do so much damage. Now these die these die before the blood loss effect is even even um forty frogs. Hilarious. I love it. Oh, he's just not, he's not, he doesn't mess around, does he? Fuck me. I have more than you do, though, pal. Alright. Let's stop up our health. You can just run through here, by the way. I'm only doing this to demonstrate. Oh, we're badass. Yeah. See it ducks you down as well, that's going to be very useful in boss fights. I suspect. We haven't applied our blessings yet, have we? No. Well, no matter. Stop here! Is a... So the two NPCs. The Sudden Grace we're going to pick up in a minute. But we've got a Skelly Tree Fragment here. This is, um... Another footstep of Mikula. So we've got carved words coalesce. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. Boom. Okay. You must be the tarnished. I am. I am Ansbach. Formerly in service to Lord Moog. But now, like you, another soul guided by <laughs> kindly Mikula. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me. Which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. Um. 
May our six you... crosses, identical to this one, have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to tender Nicholas footprints, or gravestones, which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Certainly am, my friend. I certainly am. Pleasure to meet you. Sorry I skipped that first part of the dialogue. I was kind of... Uh, i to a text message, actually. Which is naughty. I'm at work. I realise that. Anyway, this guy, his voice is way softer than his image belies. He looks like in a tank. An absolute behemoth in his armour. But listen to his voice. Hello there. Hello. Together, we work together for Mikola the Kind. Many things we have found. Yeah. All right, so he's our first merchant. And right off the bat, he says three runarchs. We're going to buy all three because we're probably going to, we're going to have, well, we are going to use at least one. Um, he also sells well, these upgraded pickled livers, which I was, um, we, I'm pretty sure there's a crafting book, but we haven't got that far yet. Uh, uh, I'm going to buy this as well. And this spirit springs. This tells us a use of a bit of advice. So note found by the forager brood, imparting knowledge in brief. Should you chance upon sealed, a sealed spirit spring, look for a stack of stones nearby. By top of them, you may break the seal. There you go. That will come in handy later. Now, next thing I want to do is actually rest the side of grace. Um, I want to change our flask allocation and finally upgrade. Uh, so we're going to do this first. So we're going to level up, finally. So we've got one. Then I'll take two fragments. And I believe this is as far as we can go. Yeah, we're one short. We can also upgrade Mimic. Like so. Yeah. Not enough. All right. Getting greedy. I also want to change our flask allocation because uh, we're going to need... We go five and eight, which means we're going to have to be careful not to get hit. We should be okay. Now let's get on with what we intended to do for the video. So let's get comfortable. This place is dangerous. We're not actually going to be able to use the weapons we brought with us too much uh, because. Um, they have these heavy wind-ups, so we'll end up falling to our death, which happened to me more than once, so... Use them sparingly, but I want... I wanted them upgraded, A, to spend the runes. B, um... We're gonna be using them, as I said, in upcoming videos. We're also gonna get a new crafting book down here as well. Ignore the dogs, we don't need to worry about them. Where do I wanna go? Oh, that's in the wrong place. Yes. Let's get rid of that. So these statues here, not all of them, not all of them are statues. Some of them are actually birds, which we dealt with before. And the easiest way to deal with these is actually with spectral lands. See this one? You can lock onto him. It's not a real bird. Not a real statue. I mean, definitely a real bird. You don't want to try using beast claw on these. That will not end well for you. Got him. Oh, fuck. Don't piss me about, come on. Got him. Oh, you fucker. You know what? Let's go for it. <laughs> I mean, it absolutely canes our uh, FP. <laughs> and we do take a bit of a knock for that. Um, I forgot to do something. Uh, yeah, anyway. Here is Grape Adama. This is actually part of the set. I'm going to show you what it looks like now. It looks... <laughs> Huh. It's very funny. Uh, where is it? It's up here. It's very obviously it's very flimsy. It would have no poise. It doesn't really offer any protection, but it is definitely bling. 
I feel like a Barry. I never realised how cut he was. Look at him, he's absolutely chiselled out of stone. <laughs> All this fighting. He has become quite powerful, but anyway, it looks pretty groovy. It would actually suit him, he'd just be so flimsy, I don't want to get murdered. Um, we'll pop back, back our usual stuff. I want to keep an eye out for some better heavier armour. But if we get some real bling, we'll see. But I just worry that in some of the fights, we just wouldn't last. Uh, the other thing I want to do... I'm going to swap out. The, I want some pot. We've got some sleep pots to use, which I've got about. But we're going to build... build we're going to craft some fire pots. But I realise I need to harvest some more mushrooms. So I have to go back to the overland in between videos. Probably. And we're going to pick up you. Like so. Gonna run down this way. Just run through this and that will activate that will um oh. get rid of it. What are we? Eight sixteen minutes in it's taking to get here, but anyway, the prep was essential. So we're gonna burn it through it. Uh down here where we actually well, we're gonna swap out the beast claws for this. This is coming very handy for some of the enemies. We've some new we're gonna deal with some new things we haven't faced yet, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's uh You wanna keep your shield out by the way, because um the dude wants to create sneaky right. What I wanna do here is rest. Stretch my legs. I wanna add another incantation to our arsenal and that it's going to be. Oh, I forgot we could use poisonous mist. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, we don't need it right now. Um, we've got best vitality, so we we'll use that if we get injured because we're running low on um, health pots. So we're going to use a lot of FE. This dungeon's deceptively large. It's one of the more interesting places I've been to so far. Um, I'm gonna get. Oh shit! Come on, then, dude. Yeah. So you notice that attack is awesome, but the spinny spin can knock you off the edge. Easy to have damage, sorry buddy. Now we get frozen maggots. You can use these to make hefty freezing pots. The cookbook for that we'll pick up a bit later on in the dungeon. Um Yeah. I'm gonna run down here. Kinda don't you know why I'm running, but take it slow-ish. This floor is going to break away. Oh no. I don't think I've quit that five or today. That I love. Right. Yeah. We didn't equip the five boss. I knew I didn't. I'm a fool. What am I? Fool. I heard it here first. Dude in here. Take him on. That guy. Cancels himself. The answer to that question is no. Get fucked. Uh, we have. Silverhorn Tender. That's a crafting ingredient, if I'm not mistaken. Next. We're going further in. For these guys, what I would do is be inclined to pile them off the bridge and just run past. Didn't actually intend to use that. Okay. Oh, it's so quick. They really went to town with this DLC. There's some amazing stuff in it. Anyway, we're going to farm all the frozen maggots that we can. Yum, they just sound del delicious, don't they? Right. We're going to go. That's where we have to go. We're going to go there in a bit. Let's take. 
Down he goes. Press maggot. Okay, next. Go through here. There's a few of these guys. I am become death. I love it. Okay, I'll swig a tea before it goes cold. <clears throat> Keep moving forward. Like so. There's, an, there's a few of these guys here, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna break the table with my sheer power of my sword. Okay. Crouch. Yeah, see the many levels of this. So much here. Look at these ghosts here, doesn't have a lot to say. Oh please, not the jar. Anything but that. I promise I won't ever do it again. I swear, a living saint I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me, please. But if he's a ghost, he obviously didn't get put in a jar. Um These are used as prisons. If you remember Alexander and his ilk eat the, the f their dead foes um, to get stronger in it or they have lumps of meat inside well in this place this jail all the prisoners get put in these jars and some of them mutate all right um you'll find those in a bit they are pretty scary now this place we're going to clear out the top section then i'll explain what comes next Uh, give the edge a wide berth. Um, we are ultimately going down there, but you don't want to run down there just yet because you'll fall to your death. It's a long way down. Uh, you just hurry pot on him. Oh, shit. Alright, come on. Okay. We got everybody? I believe so. Right, we're going this way next. This is where we encounter our first living jar. Um, mutated person, yeah. These are disgusting. But if you get one of those off, it takes care of them pretty quick. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've got a Shadow Realm Room 3. I'm not sure how many rooms that is. I think there's got to be... Because the one, the one we had before was worth 10,000. I can't remember these ones off the top of my head. There's nothing else through here, no. Right. Next up. Uh, I'm going to get comfy for this, because this... Uh, this is why we have the extra runes. Oh, uh, extra rune arcs are one of the reasons. So this is the parkour, which is the element of Elden Ring that we all love by love I mean fucking hate right um but if you hit these chains as much as a smidgen it'll knock you off kilter and you'll just fall to your death so it happens to be in plenty of times so keep that in mind yeah now of the things there is a platform there if you can just sort of see it uh that would make more sense when we further down. I hate this bit. I absolutely hate it. Yeah. There's a chest down there. We're going to see if we can get to that. But we might die. Alright. So. I just want to see if there's a sane way to do that. So I missed it in the practice run. I got too far down. Couldn't pick it up, but I want to know if there's a sensible way to do it. But I don't think there is, because this looks like suicide. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll jump to the next one and see what happens. This one is risky. Gonna have to take a bit of a running jump. I am, as they say, the man. Aha! That's the one we want. Right. 
Do we just walk off there? Do we jump? I don't know. Yeah, got it. Okay, kill. Cool. And you can hear a few little jars running around in the, the bottom layer. Feel that, I mean, that big jar there, that one comes to life. So this one, apparently. Fuck no! Oh no. Get off me, please. No! Fuck! Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'll have to come back for it later at the end. Okay. Well, that went to shit, didn't it? Okay. Do it the hard way. Get off my lawn. Right. Somebody in the audience is going to remind me to come back for that, yeah? Is that fair? Get off my lawn, right. We're gonna pop a health potion with this, just in case. Right, so we're gonna kill this guy. Alright, let's get out of his way. about that parkour thing because I'm bound to die when I come back but anyway anyway it's because I didn't get there in the practice runs so I didn't realise that fucking jar was there oh that's pissed me off anyway anyway basically there's another hefty crack pot up there but it's okay it's okay now on a Oh no, that guy already mutated in here. Uh, I like that. That absolutely murders them. So, go down this way. And there are a couple on this walkway. The easiest way to deal with these is the um, partisan. I learned that the hard way. Because there's too many of them, that big one there doesn't. I think it's part smashes straight up. Or maybe it does. That one. You're the problem. I knew there was one more. Get fucked. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So down here. Uh. You're going to want the, um, this is a bit of a labyrinth. Um, there's a few items we're going to pick up as well. We also want to pick up, like, I mean, uh, you'll get the new cookbook. For potentially cookbook 11, I believe it is, but, um, jars are everywhere. Obviously, I mean, obviously, you can see the jars, but, um, no. 
I'm talking about those mutated ones and they come out of the corners and just shock you so you've got to keep on your toes because they will make you shit yourself yeah there he is see yeah so I'm reasonably strong no My. Mate, can he fuck off? Right, okay. Yeah, this is why I'm one of the best people tell us but it's not a panacea, unfortunately. Just here we have the Lost Ashes of War, which... I don't know if you can uh, use them to duplicate ashes, basically. I get lost in here periodically. <laughs> so that's the exit there. It's for these stone six. We actually want to go up. Up here. Obviously, as I said, you can kill them very quickly, well, as I've shown you, you can kill them very quickly with the Air Shades Dancing Blade, but it's a bit risky. As you say, they do a lot of damage. But see, we didn't use a health pot. Good as that. Or use one. Got a health back. Let's do this. Easier. Yeah, that um, when they spray that slime out of them, that really does some lot of lot of fucking damage. Okay, this one we can climb up. We're gonna come back there. Ages fucking around in the practice run trying to uh figure out this bit because we want to get on top of those let's go this way around give that a try oh wait there is a dude around here oh, there was That's the cookbook. But dude, I do of course mean um, one of those mutated things. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was thinking of. Get wrecked. Alright. Where's he? I hate the way they jump. Come on then. Come. I wish their body stayed when they died, so we could actually have a proper look at it. Because you can't look at it when they're alive. Ah, uh, that's the other one that's free roaming, yeah. 
deal with them in a minute though. Jump. Hefty crack pot. Groovy. Shit and die. I love the spear. The partisan has been an MVP pretty much throughout the entire bandit playthrough. He's just so strong. Or well, special lance is particularly strong. Alright. The fun part is once we've explored this property, I've got to find the exit again. Which might take a hundred years. This way. I think that's how we need to get back to the exit, but I just want to make sure. I think it's a dead end. Oh no. Should be another pot. There we go. Still two now, so we're still missing the one we left at the top. Ah, uh, you when we fell down. But I'll try and pick up that ledge. You've you got to so you've got to remind me at the end of the video. Pick up that one from the ledge. All right, so we go to this one. No, I'm totally lost. Well, I'm terrible with directions in real life, and I'm stubborn. It's a man thing. I will walk in the wrong direction for a long time, just to prove that it's the wrong direction. But that's just... I'm stupid like that. But, uh... Right. Let's go around this way. Ah. No. Ah! That's easy to find the exit, then. I'm not stupid as I thought. I mean, really, it's more luck than judgement, but, you know... So this leads to another secret. We'll do that in a minute. Well, that didn't you? It's better to take these down with strike weapons. I haven't got any clubs or anything. Oh fuck no! I forgot about you. Just put no to that, didn't he? Just whacked me. Don't fuck me about. Come on, dude. Speaker team, victory. I, I think he was there, and I just completely missed him because I forgot. Pretty sure I got him. Spread up in the. Uh, he's right off the edge then. He's done so well up until this moment. Smithy zone two. Right. We need to get on that pot in a minute. And I'll explain you for why. In a memento. First, we're going to have to kill some dudes. There are. Here it is. If we take a running jump across. Oh, no! Alright. I mean, he did me a favour in a way. Because he. Yeah, I mean, I'll be the first to admit that could have come better. Come on, then, son. He should uh, fall to his death, hopefully. 
Oh no, you won't. Uh oh. Okay. Do the, do the hard way. This one. Woo! Shit. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, I'll take the runes. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Is everybody? Any more for any more? I think we're good. Now, this lift here. This lift. That's not a lift. It's a platform. This one's a lift. That's what I was going to say. Again, it's another stupid. So solid. I see you. I know. I think we just walked to this one. Yeah. Now this will now take us up. We're going to have more enemies to deal with. Keep that in mind. Uh... Fucking parkour. I was looking at activating all the great runes as well for the um, bandit playthrough and I remembered how much fun it isn't in the um, wait Divine Tower of Kaled okay Take care of you first. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah, there's another big jar in here, which is the bit I'm really worried about. This guy's a pain in the ass to kill. Him. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the jump on these guys. If they get close to shit, they, they can be devastating really quick. Which is not something that I obviously wanted to happen, so. But up here. Is the Great Jar. Which. Is. A. Souped up version of this. But again, that puts it in heavy load and looks stupid, so. No. We're not using it. How do we get down last time? Oh, nope. not that way. Oh, it's this side. There we go. Yes, more stupid hardcore bullshit. Okay. But we're going. Okay. Everyone's a winner. That's the truth. Wait a minute. So it's been a long video, but we did a very big dungeon. So we've just got to find the boss now, more or less. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. How much have we got left? We've got most of the resources. We might live. We might not. This boss is spicy. I'm gonna say. He moves quick. 
if we can get Mimic off, we might be alright. Mimic kind of does most of the work. The way he always does. But in this particular case, you need the distraction. As he gets real close. Here he comes. Watch the attack, wait for it. Right, that move is deadly. Yeah. All right, that went a lot better. I think it's because I know it's move patterns now. Uh, Demi Sword Ash is Yoshi, but when you fight him, uh, the jumping attack he does, and he does a gravity pulse, pulls you towards him and impales you. Oh man, he's rough. Anyway, we got a ton of runes. We can actually level up, which is what I want to do. So we're going to go here. We're going to start the entrance. Um. Nobody reminded me, but thankfully I remembered. We're going to try and get that last uh, hefty great jar. And I'm also going to level up. I remember thinking I was going to put points into faith. But I feel like maybe we should push dexterity higher. Because I want to make better use of these. I have to think. Let's look. What is, I didn't mean to do that. What is our natural dex? Because we're running with Militant's Procesis as well. It's our boosted stats. Look, look at that. Um, but yeah, we are running. I definitely wanted more faith, didn't I? I did. I did. I did. I did. Uh, so with Dext, we get, with a bust we get 40, with a classical one as physic we get 50, don't we? Hmm. Huh. You know, let's push it higher. No, change of mind. Boost of faith, we wanted that. I was going to push faith this playthrough anyway. Yeah. Okay. We've got an infinite spy level tiers we can always respec if we want to. So keep that in mind. Right. Uh... No. I'll ignore you. Oh, my legs. Nope. See it. See it. The noise they make is pathetic. Nope. Shush, boys. Shush. Of course, it's not going to let me just uh, TP out of here either, is it? We're going to have to run all the way to the end. Watch me die now because I'm in a hurry. Jump to this one, didn't we? <sighs> I 
really didn't go well. This one we walked down, right? Yeah. And then we go. Stay up here. Oh no. I didn't know that could oh, do please get off me. Okay. I mean, at least we bought another rune arc. <laughs> I've never seen a glitch like that in Elden Ring. I play a lot of, um, what should we call it? Um, Hal World. And in that, it's quite, a special release. It was quite common to get stuck in the scenery. And have to climb out. Quite literally climb out of the scenery. But, um, first I've seen it in Elden Ring. It's fucking weird. Anyway. I guess the speedrunners have seen all the glitches, but I have not. Alright. Just worry. 52 minutes. That's a fucking long video. Let's do this again. No. Shit, I should kill these, shouldn't I? You don't even jumping after me. Right, one more time. Right, and that's when we have to really jump. Yep. Again here. Okay, what's the best strategy to deal with this? Can we lob a grenade down there? Yeah. Okay, that works. What about that one? See that big jar. Nope. Don't fuck me about, come on. Okay. There we go, in a roundabout way we got there. Oh, we can fast travel. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. Okay. Look at my runes. Okay. Uh, where are we gonna jump to next? Through here, actually. Okay. Don't know, that's, uh, that's a long winded way of doing it, but that was the uh, Federal Jail walkthrough. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye now.